हेलो वेलकम टू दिस सेशन माय सेल्फ श्याम गोरे टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन एच पैरामीटर हियर द सर्किट इज गिवन इन दिस सर्किट द फोर रेजिस्टेंसेस आर कनेक्टेड विच हैविंग द टू पोर्ट्स this is the input port this is the output port and here we have to find out the value of h parameter of this circuit so let us see the value of the h parameter and we know that the h parameters are the input impedance reverse voltage gain forward current gain and the output admittance for this circuit so first of all let us see the input impedance and input impedance is represented by hi and we know that the hi is nothing but the input voltage divided by input current that is the v1 divided by i1 and we get the input impedance when the output is short circuited and when the output is short circuited then output voltage that is the v2 is equal to the zero so let us short circuit the output at the terminal 22 then the circuit is like this when the output is short circuited means the 10 ohm resistance is shorted and the circuit is like this okay and here in this circuit the current is flow like this the input current is flowing through the 30 ohm resistance and when that current comes to this point then some current is flowing through the 10 ohm resistance and some current is flowing through the 20 ohm resistance like this and the output current i2 is flowing through the 10 ohm resistance so let us find out the input impedance and if you are looking from the input port this is the input port then we see that this is the 30 ohm resistance and the two resistances are in parallel that is the 20 and 10 so the input impedance is equal to the 30 plus 10 parallel 20 that is the 30 plus 10 parallel 20 okay and the value of hi is equal to 30 plus 10 into 20 divided by 10 plus 20 and that is equal to 30 plus 200 divided by 30 and the value of input impedance is equal to 36.7 ohm so this is the input impedance now let us see the value of forward current gain forward current gain is the ratio of output current to the input current that is the i2 divided by i1 okay here from the same circuit we can find out this current so from the above circuit we can find out the currents by using the current division rule if you want to know about the current division rule see my video that is the series circuit or the current division rule okay so the output current this is the output current current flowing through this resistance that is the 10 ohm resistance okay and this current is flowing through this resistance also the i2 is flowing through this 10 ohm resistance and then it can be flow through the 20 ohm resistance also okay therefore according to the current division rule the current flowing through see these two resistances are in series okay so the current division rule says that the current flowing through the any resistance 
is equal to the opposite resistance in series circuit these are the two resistances and here we have to find out the current flowing through this resistance therefore opposite resistance for that is equal to 20 ohm resistance so current division rule is the opposite resistance divided by total resistance total resistance is means 10 ohm plus 20 ohm so this is the opposite resistance that is the 20 divided by 10 plus 20 into the total current that is the i1 here this is the total current i1 actually when i1 comes at this point some current is flowing through this resistance some current is flowing through this resistance okay so the total current is i1 i1 divided into the two branches so here i1 is the total current now the HF is equal to I2 divided by I1. We know that the forward current gain is equal to output current divided by input current. So, here this I2 divided by I1 is equal to 20 divided by 30 minus 20 divided by 30 is equal to minus 0.69. This is the forward current gain. Okay. Now, let us see this is the original circuit. Okay. Now, let us find out the reverse voltage gain and reverse voltage gain that is the HR H and, and HO can be find out when we open the input terminal of the circuit. So, let us open the input of the terminal. When we open the input then this 30 ohm resistance is cut from the circuit and the circuit is like this circuit becomes this is the final circuit when we uh, open the input okay so here the three resistances are remaining okay now let us find out the hr hr is equal to v1 divided by v2 when i2 is sorry i1 is equal to 0 that is the input current is equal to 0 by the voltage division rule we can find out this voltage that is the v1 and here the v1 is equal to if you want to know about the voltage division rule you can see my video that is the voltage division rule okay so here according to the voltage division rule voltage across any one resistance here these are the two resistances okay that is the 20 ohm and 10 ohm actually this voltage v2 is drop across 10 ohm resistance that is from point this point to this point okay and this is the ground point and between this point and this point there are the two resistances also 10 ohm and 20 ohm v2 is equal to voltage drop across this 10 ohm resistance or it is equal to the 10 plus 20 ohm resistances so here we have to find out this voltage that is the 20 ohm resistance voltage across 20 ohm resistance and this voltage is equal to the v1 okay so v1 is equal to 20 ohm divided by 10 ohm plus 20 ohm into total voltage that is equal to the v2 this is the voltage division rule according to the voltage division rule the voltage across any resistance is equal to that resistance divided by total resistance that is the 10 plus 20 into the total voltage this is the v2 so this is the voltage division rule now we have the HR, HR is equal to V1 divided by V2. Therefore, this V1 divided by V2 is equal to 20 divided by 30 and which is equal to 0.67. So, this is the reverse voltage gain. This parameter is known as the reverse voltage gain that is equal to 0.67. Now, let us find out the output admittance that is the HO from the same circuit and here HO is equal to output current divided by output voltage when input current is equal to the 0 means input is short sorry input is open okay the output impedance at terminal 2 2 is equal to here let us find out the output impedance 
here the output impedance at these two terminal if you are looking from the output side then you see that this is the 10 ohm resistance and these two resistances are in series and this resistance is in parallel with these two resistances so the output impedance is equal to 10 okay 10 parallel with 10 plus 20 and that is given here this is the 10 into 30 divided by 20 plus 10 plus 10 which is equal to 300 divided by 40 which is equal to 7.5 ohm and actually we have to find out HO and HO is nothing but 1 divided by impedance okay and then here we have V2 is equal to 7.5 into I2 and HO is equal to 1 divided by 7.5 and that is equal to 0 0.332 mo. So, this is the output admitters. In this way, in this video, you see that how to find out the value of H parameter of the circuit and in this way, you can find out the H parameter for any circuit. Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching this video.